Are you thinking about relocating to Ocala, Florida? Well, if you are, I'm going to give you my top seven things that you'll hate about Ocala. Hi there, I'm Stephanie Frost with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Home Team Realty in Ocala, Florida. And I'm here every Tuesday to talk about all things real estate in the Ocala and Marion County area. I've lived here in the Ocala, Marion County area for over 30 years, so you might guess that I'm pretty fond of the place. But it's not for everybody. So here are my top seven reasons why you might just hate it here. Reason number seven, public transportation. We really don't have much in the way of public transportation, so if you don't drive, you probably won't like it here. We do have a bus system of sorts, but it's really limited on coverage. The routes don't even cover all of Ocala, much less the larger part of Marion County. And we're not overloaded with taxis, Uber, or Lyft either. So if you're used to a big city where you can get to everything by bus or metro, you're going to be disappointed. Number six, if you're used to heading out to the airport to fly out of town for the weekend, forget it. We do have an airport, but it doesn't have any passenger flights. Private planes, horse transport, cargo flights, yeah, but no passenger flights. So if you want to fly anywhere, you're going to have to drive to Orlando or take a shuttle service and leave your car at home. Number five, and this one's more for the ladies. Once you move here, you'll be able to count your good hair days on one hand every year. With an average humidity of 85%, there is no hairspray in the world up to the task. Just know for about eight months out of the year, if you have curly hair, it's going to frizz. And if you have fine hair, you're going to look like a limp noodle five minutes after walking out the door. Which brings us to reason number four, which is rain. We average about 52 inches of rain in Ocala every year. So if you don't like storms, Ocala is not the place for you. Heck, Florida is probably not the place for you. Here in Ocala, it's either bone dry or pouring down rain, sometimes both in the space of about 20 minutes. Actually though, one of the coolest things about Florida rain is that you can be driving down the road on a clear sunny day and actually see the line of demarcation in the road ahead where it's absolutely pouring. It's like driving into a waterfall. But if you like to sit around and watch the rain come down, you will be in heaven pretty much from May right through October because that's our rainy season. Not that we don't have our fair share of rain in the winter, it's just spaced out a little more. <laughs> and speaking of seasons, that's reason number three. We don't really have them here. <laughs> our seasons are almost summer, summer, Summer's nearly over and oh, I can finally turn off the air conditioning. In the summer, you're gonna to learn to do anything outdoors in the morning or just before dark so that you can retreat into the air conditioning all day just like the rest of us. And in the winter, you're gonna to learn to layer your clothing. <laughs> and by layering, I mean put on a tank top under your sweater because by noon most days, it'll be warm enough that you'll be wearing it. And number two on the list of reasons that you might hate it here in Ocala is our wide open countryside. If you really love the big city with all those tall buildings and concrete and glass everywhere and all the houses stuck right up against each other, don't even bother coming to Ocala. Here, you'll rarely see a building over three stories and those are few and far between. We kind of like our space here. Our yards tend to be on the larger size, at least a quarter acre with some neighborhoods coming in at a half acre or even better. And we love our farms, farms of all sizes from little mini farms up to thousands of acres. We even have whole neighborhoods made up of small horse farms with horse trails for riding with your friends. So if the idea of wide open spaces full of horses and assorted other critters really bugs you, this is not your area. And number one on the list is our Southern hospitality. We're generally a pretty friendly bunch here. Total strangers still smile and say hey at the grocery store or wave when we pass on the street. It's just a thing. When I'm driving through a neighborhood showing property, and it doesn't really matter which neighborhood, I'm constantly going, hi, hey, how you doing? Because everybody I see is doing the same thing to me. It's just the way we do it here. So if you like to walk the dog at night without talking to anybody or having anybody talk to you, well, what can I tell you? You're in the South now. <laughs> and as Southerners, it's just kind of how we do things. So there you have it. My top seven things you'll hate about Ocala, Florida. Personally, none of them really bugs me much. Well, except the humidity thing. I could really do without that one, but I can live with it. And if you like today's video, check out my top five things that you need to know if you're thinking about moving to Ocala, Florida. 
But before you do, remember to like and subscribe because I do this every week and you don't want to miss anything.